Watch me work as I create this fun, Japanese-inspired pottery design. We're gonna start by laying out a coat of Cocoist Nudist Beach. This is one of my favorite cool-toned sheer nudes. And depending on your speed and comfort level, you can cure one finger at a time, alternating hands, or get one hand done and pop it in and cure it. We're gonna be working in a wet layer for this watercolor look, so we're gonna start with a couple swooshes of Cocoist White Gradation. And then with the white layer still wet, we're gonna go in with a couple offset swatches of the carrot bread pudding color. And don't worry, I didn't forget about the thumb. Here we go, we're gonna add the white and then the carrot bread pudding and then we'll move on. The third color we're gonna use is fig bread pudding and this is a really beautiful warm sheer pink. So this is just adding some nice ambiance to the look and we're gonna to start to blend all of these colors together and let them just kind of mesh and mingle. Yeah, look at that, you can see it happening right there. And I'm actually wiping my brush in between strokes uh, so that I'm not meshing the colors together too much. So our third color is going to be pistachio bread pudding. We're just doing a couple little shocks of it and gonna let it mix and mingle in. You wanna be a little careful with the greens because it can make a more brown color. So if you feel like you get a little out of control, just add a little bit of white to the area and it'll help make it more subtle. Give it a moment for it to spread and mingle and then pop it in and cure it. And then we're gonna top it off with the Show Me Solitude series episode one gel that I got from Nail Formula in Canada. This one is imported from Korea. And it's this gorgeous terrazzo kind of top coat. It's different than the other ones that I have. It's got little shell flex, little gold flex, and nice uh, different sizes of black flex too. Once that's placed, go ahead and cure it. And you wanna watch out and make sure you don't have any crazy pieces that are sticking up and super rough. We're gonna place the gold charm with the Ageha Charm On No Wipe Top Gel. You guys know this is my favorite. And then swipe a little bit in the center once it's cured and then you can add your shell detail and then a little gold seed. And we're gonna do the same thing on the thumb and fully cure. Once that's cured, we're gonna go in with the Cocoist Art Clear and this is just to create an extra layer of smoothness on the nail because the terrazzo texture gel layer does have texture to it. So this is gonna help just level that out a little bit. And once that is cured, you can go in with your file, just feel with your hand, make sure there's not any super spiky pieces. And then once that's nice and smooth, uh, go ahead and do a top coat. This is the Cocoist Ultra Glossy Non-Wipe Top Coat. And I like to go over the charms too, just to give a little extra security. And there you have it. I'm so excited about this design. It's so up my alley. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Like and follow for more. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments.